Hello, everybody. My name is Luca Padavan. And I'm Isabella Russo. The Musical Adventures of Flat Stanley was the first original musical created by iTheatrix in partnership with Work Light Productions. In 2007, the show started touring the U.S. and Canada to the delight of kids, teachers, and families. The tour was so popular that it was extended through 2009, and over 100,000 people joined Stanley on his musical adventures. Since then, the Broadway Junior Edition has been performed by thousands of kids all over North America. And now, it has been adapted to be performed online as a Zoomsicle. Directly after the performance, Luca and I will be interviewing some of the performers, and we'll be revealing iTheatrics' next online musical, in song, so stay tuned. All right, everybody, the cast has been called to places, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the premiere of The Musical Adventures of Flat Stanley, online edition. <laughs> Lamb chops. They're your average family living in your average town. Meet Dad, awesome interpreter of bedtime classics like Goodnight Moon. And that's Mom. She is as smart as she is pretty and can hear most anything but just us. Arthur! What's that you got there, Arthur? Oh, encyclopedia of insects. Looks like someone's getting a jump on their homework. Good job, Arthur. Do his homework, feeling really smart, that's Arthur. And that must make you Stanley. Stanley Lambchop. He's Stanley Lamchop, just your average kid doing regular things. That's all about to change. Yep, they're the lamb chops, and tonight's the night their lives are gonna change. All right, Stanley, it's time for you and your friends to put the slumber into this slumber party. Now off to dreamland, everyone. Dad, can you really wish on a falling star? Of course you can. That's what stars are for. Stars are where Luke Skywalker uses the force to blast death stars out of the sky! Zoom, zoom, zoom. And then Harry Potter comes in and casts a spell, oblivious! Papers and wands away for the night. There's plenty of time to save the world tomorrow. And even Luke and Harry need their rest. Good night, kids. Mom, will you leave the nightlight on? We'll leave the nightlight on. Now get some sleep. Arthur, are you awake? 
No. Hey, Stanley, are you awake? Yes. Caleb, are you asleep? We're all awake, Sophie. Why? Just checking. Hey, Arthur. What? Sophie. If you could wish on a falling star, what would you wish for? I'd wish for an A on my science test. That's the best you can come up with? I guess so. Well, what would you wish for? A new bike. A million dollars. More wishes! <laughs> hey, Stanley, what would you wish for? I'd want to do, I want to travel the planet, doing amazing things the world has never seen before. Like, what if I could be a wizard? What if I could do a magic spell? What if I were in a castle, hanging out with ghosts and flying? And what if I could tell everyone at school I'm magic? Think of all the people I could save, flying on a broom to infinity and beyond! Cause if I had a wand, I could be brave. I wish I were a hero, and I could have an adventure. So when I see there's evil, I could intervene, do something no one's ever seen before. I wish I were taken on Voldemort, I wish I were having a I'd point my wand and say, Obliviate and dodge my wand. Look out, expel the artist. And here comes Reducto, confund us, expecto patronum. Spell after spell after spell till I got him for sure. So I'll never be Harry Potter, but I wish I were. A woo hoo hoo, a woo hoo hoo, a woo hoo. That's silly. Wizards aren't real. It would be amazing! So would being a Jedi Knight, but it's never gonna happen. What if I could be a Jedi? You can't! What if I could fly in outer space? What if I'm a spaceship pilot? You could be that, I guess. And we're caught up in a high-speed chase, cause everyone at school to be cheering. Cause Jedi's have a purpose and people to save. Would you have a lightsaber? A lightsaber, of course! And if we the Force, we could be great. I wish I were a hero. And we could have an adventure. So when I see there's evil, we could intervene. Do something no one's ever seen before. I wish I were fighting Darth Vader. I wish I were using the Force with my lightsaber. I approach and duck my lightsaber. Look out, he's coming back. And then he would take that. And take this. And take that. Hey, I made a wish, I'd wish for something amazing like that. But there's already a Harry Potter and a Luke Skywalker. So I'll do something different, something amazing that the world's never seen before. Stanley, look, it's a falling star, make your wish. I wish to travel the planet, doing amazing things the world has never seen before. We should all get some sleep. Night, Stanley. Night. Stanley! Stanley! Who's talking? Psst. 
Check out the bulletin board. Boo! Ah! Why is a bulletin board above my bed trying to scare me? Just having some fun, kid. I'm actually here to make your wish come true. Bulletin boards don't talk, or grant wishes for that matter. Did you wish on a falling star? I did. And do you want that wish to come true no matter what happens? Yes. Then let's review. You want to travel the planet doing amazing things the world's never seen before. Is that possible? Totally possible. Now how best to do it? Magic carpet? Too obvious. Nose that grows when he lies. That's just creepy. Oh! I got it. Yeah, this is gonna be flat out fun. Uh, talking bulletin board fairy Santa thingy? Dream over? Dream over. Sleep tight, kid. Or should I say, sleep flat? Sleep flat? What's that supposed to mean? What a crazy night. What was that noise? I, I think it came from Stanley's bed. Yeah, uh, I need my glasses. Where are my glasses? What was that crash? Yes, what is going on in here? <gasps> Look, the bulletin board fell on Stanley. Stanley? Help me lift on three. One, two, three. What's going on? Stanley's flat! I'm what? Flat? Like the world before Columbus. Children, go downstairs. Mr. Lanchop will call your parents. What am I going to do? You're going to call Dr. Dan. No, he's gonna give me a shot. I don't know that, Stanley. Come on, let's go. Good morning, I'm Dr. Dan, and this is Nurse Betty. Now, what seems to be the problem? This is my son, Stanley. Well, nice to meet you, Andy. His name is Stanley. Of course. Now, Randy, what seems to be the problem? The bulletin board fell on Stanley, and now he's flat. Fat? No, flat. I'll be the judge of that. Aha, this boy has been horribly misdiagnosed. He is not fat at all, Miss Porkchop. It's Lamb Chop! Well, then who's McPorkchop? Uh, never mind. Sandy here suffers from Papyrus Nagma Minimus. That sounds terrible. What does it mean? It means he's flat. Of course he's flat, you nincompoop. That's why we're here. Stanley, how do you feel? I feel fine. You heard him. He feels fine. Good day, Miss Hamhawk. It's Lamb Chop. Come on, Stanley, let's get out of here. A couple of weeks have gone by, and Stanley's still flat. So one day, we were waiting for the bus, and the cool kids were like, Whoa, Stanley, and, uh, 
little kid bro Stanley. <laughs> it's like totally Wendy. And then me and Stanley were like, yeah, it's Wendy. And then the cool kids were like, yo, little kid bro Stanley. Dude, I got an idea. <laughs> totally fly. So they held Stanley down, tied a string to his shirt, and then one of the cool kids started running while holding the string, and then Stanley started flying like a kite. <laughs> Check it out. Like way up there, dude. <laughs> Make him die. But then things took a tragic turn. Yo, freaks, the bus. We're out of here. They let go of Stanley's string and got on the bus. Yo, little kid bro Stanley, you coming? I looked up at Stanley, and then I looked at the bus. Stanley, bus, bus, Stanley. I mean, we're talking about the cool kids here. I got on the bus. I know Stanley's probably dead or seriously injured or stuck in the power lines. Like, <laughs> yeah, Stanley's probably dead. And I'm definitely grounded. Hey, kids, take my advice if you ever make a wish. It's best to think twice, cause wishes can be tricky. Dreams are even worse. A falling star, and there you are, your wish becomes a curse. And so I'm stuck here in a tree. Cause first you're flat and flying, and not sure what to do. And suddenly you're in a tree because your wish came true. And that's really kinda crazy. It's really super weird Cause wishes should be great things Not something to be feared So I'll sing my silly song And it goes la da 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 la da 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 I'll just sing a silly song la da 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 Feeling lonely Hey, I'm not just Stanley anymore. I'm flat standing, but I'm really just me. Dang, this mail pouch is heavy today. Hey, Mrs. Cartero. What? Who said that? It's me, Stanley Lambchop, up here in the tree. Stanley Lambchop, climb down from that tree at once. Yes, Mrs. Cartero. Child, scared the living spirit out of me. <sighs> ah! You're <laughs> flat. I know, I made a wish. What'd you wish for? I wanted to travel the planet, doing amazing things the world has never seen before. Okay, so what are you waiting for? Huh? Well, if you could travel anywhere, where would you go? I don't know. Maybe Paris. Hmm. Paris, France, or Paris, Texas. It's important to be specific when it comes to wishes. Yeah, I know. Paris, France. But how could I get there? I'm sure you'll figure something out. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here's your mail. <laughs> Thanks. Hold the phone. Stanley, look at you. You're postal perfect. Why, you could travel anywhere in the world for just the price of a postage stamp. I could? I could! Why not? Think of the places you could visit. Stanley, you are one of a kind, so let me give you some advice. Get out there and see the world. Why would you need to think twice? You 
mean I can travel far away to places far and wide. Anything I dreamed is possible, cause now I see the world in front of me, so I'm ready to take this ride. Let's go traveling through the mail to anywhere you wanna go. You can get there without fail when you're traveling through the mail. There are people to see and things to do all over the place. Arthur, hurry! I'm going on a trip! A trip? Yeah! In the mail! Can I come with you, Stanley? Huh? Can I? Sorry, Arthur. This is a solo mission. Time for me to take the show on the road. Who knows what I may see? Your adventure can start with the map and a dart. No matter which you saw, there's no place you can't go. The mail's where I gotta be. Japan, Morocco, China, Brazil, Australia, London, and Rome. Rocky Mountains, Everglades, Vegas, and the Super Dome. Let's go traveling through the mail. On a great adventure. Mail Stanley, we're so proud of you. Cause you're traveling. I'll be stamped express. Traveling. With my return address. I'm gonna find success. Good evening, Napoleon. Good evening, Empty Frame. Good evening, Madame Mona Lisa. Good evening, Empty Frame. Socket blue. Another painting stolen. Jean Dom. Jean Dom. Excuse me. I was just delivered in the mail. Is anybody here? Mona Lisa is here. As is Napoleon. Whoa, you can talk? Of course we can talk. We're paintings, not mines. You have to help us. The greatest paintings of the world are being stolen by a snake thief. I know I'm next. You must help us. Wait, why is there an empty frame? Our dear friend Bathsheba was stolen at her bath. And I'm very concerned. You see, she wasn't wearing any clothes because she was Taking a bath! What if she catches a cold? You must help us. Hmm, well, I am flat. What if I pretend to be the missing painting, and then when the sneak thief arrives, I can jump down and capture him? That's a great idea! But you do not look like a painting worthy of the Louvre. Quick, in the closet is a costume. Put it on. Bonjour! Hello? Curious. That was close. Are you ready, kid? I'm not wearing this. I'll bet you look great. Come on, let's see it. I look silly. Don't you have any cool costumes like Baby Yoda? Darling, this is the Louvre, the greatest museum in the world. No Baby Yoda? No Baby Yoda. Quick, get into your frames. I hear the sneak thief coming. Tonight will be my biggest heist ever. <laughs> but which one will I take? Napoleon? Or maybe Miss Mona Lisa? What's this? <gasps> a new painting! Wow, what a... Strange looking girl. Hey! Who said that? You're hearing things. Okay, you need to stay calm. Eyes on the prize, eyes on the prize. Yes, Napoleon. You and me will trip the night fantastic. Gotcha. Guard, guard! Yipes. 
Bonjour? The sneak thief is trying to steal Napoleon and Mona Lisa! Catch me! Oh yes we will! Gotcha! You are surrounded! Head in the air! Take that sneak thief to jail! And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling flat kid! Oh, see, young man, you've done something amazing. Something the world has never seen before. What's your name? Stanley. Flat Stanley. Flat Stanley Lambchop? How did you know? I received this letter. It's addressed to you. It's from Mom and Dad. Stanley, it's mom and dad. Tell us how you are. We miss you so much, son. You've traveled so far. Is it cold there? Are you happy? Do you miss your home, sweet mom? Have you sailed across the deep blue sea? Are you eating your broccoli? We miss you. I miss you guys too. Special delivery for the Lamb Chop family. I wonder what it could be. Let's open it and find out. <laughs> Dad, Arthur! Stanley! <laughs> I missed you so much. We missed you too, son. I love you guys. Love you too, Stanley. Stanley's not flat anymore! I'm not! I, I'm not! I'm not flat anymore! Are you okay with that, son? What about your adventures? It's cool traveling the planet, doing amazing things the world's never seen before, but what's the point if you don't have anybody to share it with? Stanley's adventures are over, my friends. Our tale is ending. It's not the end. It's time for you to make a star wish or two. Your wish may come true. It could happen to you. Yes, your wish.